Well, let me ask Congressman Lewis this question because I think I think he can speak appropriately to this. I, despite some of the reactions in that in in that crowd, Congressman, I thought that was an extraordinarily gracious and important speech for Senator McCain to make, given the unique nature of this election. Would you agree? I, I agree. It was a wonderful and appropriate statement on the part of Senator McCain. It. Uh, he said all of the right words, and I believe he said those words from the depth of his heart. Eugene Robinson has a question for you, Congressman. Con Congressman, I, I just wondered, did you ever think in your lifetime, maybe, you know, not when you were on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, but back during the days of the Civil Rights Movement, did, did it ever occur to you that you would see uh, a night, you would see this night, and you would see uh, an African African American become president of the United States? Was that a goal, or, or was it even in the realm of imagination? Uh, Gene, I, I never, I never imagined, I never even had any idea that I would live to see an African American become president of the United States of America. During the height of the Civil Rights Movement, I never thought, I never visualized that one day an African American would be president of the United States during my lifetime. We will fight into in segregation and racial discrimination in public accommodation at lunch counter. Back in, in the 60s, the early 60s, blacks and whites could not ride in a taxi cab together in Montgomery, Alabama. We couldn't be seated on a Greyhound bus together in most of the South. And we were just trying to break down barriers and bring down those signs that said white men, colored men, white women, colored women, white waiting, colored waiting, and trying to assure all of our citizens the right to participate in the democratic process. So when you really look at it, when you really think about it, we have witnessed tonight in America, again, what I like to call a revolution of values, a revolution of ideas, has been a transformation of American politics, and it will have unbelievable influence on the politics of the world. People around the world, I think, was pulling for this man. They saw in him the embodiment of their hopes, their dreams, and aspiration, not just of, of the American people, but all of our citizens. I think Andy Young, my friend and my colleague for many years, I think he is right. Barack Obama will emerge as a world leader. He would inspire the young people and people not so young. And I've always felt that if Martin Luther King Jr. had lived longer, uh, that he would have emerged, not as a political leader, but as a great moral leader, not just for the American people, but for all segments of the population of the world. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Mr. Lewis, the Congressman, it's Chris Matthews. It's a, it's an honor to be on uh, TV with you, sir. Just to be with you is enough. And uh, to see Jesse Jackson, there's so many personality facets to Jesse Jackson. And to see the historic one again tonight was so wonderful. To see him in tears and to recall the role that he's played in the history of this change in our country. And all I can say to you, sir, is congratulations. That's all I can say for this wonderful role you played. Because this didn't well, happen Chris, by accident, sir. And you know you did your role. Well, uh, Chris, uh, uh, so many people played, uh, played a role. Uh, Sometimes I think it was almost like a drama. We, we all had roles to play. And we should really be thankful and very grateful to those who came along long before many of us. Whites and blacks, people who literally gave their lives. I remember meeting with President Kennedy back in June of 1963 and again on August the 28th, 1963, and meeting with President Johnson. They wanted to move the country ahead. President Kennedy lived out to see the Civil Rights Act of 64 pass. President Johnson got the Congress to pass the act and came back and got the Voting Rights Act passed. And these men, they must be looking down 
Robert Kennedy, President Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, Martin Luther King Jr., and hundreds and thousands of others, just plain everyday citizens, who did so much to bring us to this day. Uh, I cried earlier today, and I know I'm going to share some more tears, but sometimes I feel like I don't have any tears left. <laughs> well, thank you, sir, for what you've done. Thank you. Uh, Congressman thank you. Lewis, thank you very much.